Now, for health bosses tasked with tackling nightmare waiting lists in the NHS, the search for bold and innovative ideas could hardly be more urgent. Now it's hoped the wider use of robots could form part of the solution. The number of people awaiting treatment currently stands at 7.3 million in England, and that's a record high. And while the number of robotic procedures has increased from just under 25,000 four years ago to nearly 36,000 last year, experts say that is still only a fraction of those who could benefit from the latest advances in medical technology. The middle one is the camera, and then the, the left and the right one would be a, a pair of scissors. Guy's and St Thomas's in London carry out more robotic surgeries than any other hospital trust in England. But it's not as big as it looks on that scan. ITV News was given exclusive access to see their latest robot operate on a kidney for the first time. While surgeon Ben set to work, I went to see the machine away from the sterile wrappings of the operating theatre. This is our surgical robot, Hugo, and today's patient is a red pepper. So can you show me how it works? Of course, I'll need to put on my glasses so that I can see everything in 3D. It's very much like um, using your wrists, but inside the body. I can be very deliberate with my actions um, and hopefully preserve as much of the healthy tissue as possible. But it, it, I mean, it is you in control, not the robot. It's the surgeon that's in control of, of all of the actions. So this isn't AI surgery? Not yet. At £1.5 million, Hugo is cheaper than the systems which are already in use. So can I take it for a spin, Dan? 100%. Just first try grasping a seed, one close by. The 3D is so good, isn't it, in terms of being able to get the depth perception? Uh, there might be, there might be Back in theatre as Ben closes up, Hugo is doing some work of its own. Sharing video around the world to help teaching and using artificial intelligence to learn about and label the material. The first step of actually starting to have a robot that will help you is that the robot needs to know where it is and what it's doing. And this is the first step of it actually showing you w where it is in the operation. Kidney removed, Hugo and Ben's work is done. Surgery went really well. It's extremely uh, good robot. Very, very good vision, um, very dexterous. I think it's got a big impact potentially for the wider NHS. Not many people are using robotics. And because this system is easy to pick up and cheaper than the standard system that is existing already, there is a much greater potential to roll that out. As the waiting lists increase, unless we have more access to this kind of instrumentation, we can't do our job. If we have the same capacity as we did before the pandemic, we are just going to fail. The kidney patient we filmed is doing well. Surgeons say the speed of recovery will save bed space, time and importantly money. It's up to NHS management to decide whether that saving justifies funding the rise of the robots. Martin Stew, News at 10.